What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the abandoned Miata build. So today we're going to dive into the engine bay and we're going to see what we need to do to test fire this car. We were told by the previous owner that it may have a warped head. I don't think that's true. He said it had a really loud tick and uh, he said he pulled the head off to take a look at it and never got it put back together, never got anything done. So upon further inspection, here's what we have found. We got the timing cover, timing covers off. We're missing the water pump pulley, the crank pulley. Um, timing belt is just chilling there, but luckily we've got all the spark plug wires and everything there. We do have the hardware for the valve cover, but the valve cover is just loose. So we can just pull that off. We'll set that right there. Um, the cams do have some surface rust on them. So we're gonna hit those with some scotch bright but uh what we decided from the research that we've done is that these hydraulic lifters actually go bad so let's see if i can move this one let's see if you can see that i can move that one but the next one moves a little bit that one i really can't move at all um so the lifters actually seize up over time and you can clean them and get them to start moving again and quit ticking so enough talking we are going to uh hopefully fire this thing up today so let's get with it We just got the cams out, we got the lifters out, and what we're going to do next is going to dive into it and start cleaning them up, cleaning off the surface rust, and then cleaning up the insides of the lifters. So, I don't know if you've seen the lifters on a Miata before, but they have these little plungers, but it has a spring inside, so we're going to have to split this apart, take the spring out, take the plunger out, clean all that out, and put it back together. Let's do it! So we're going to pull all the lifter pieces out, set them on this beautiful microfiber towel and hope we don't uh, miss anything. <laughs> and then we are going to rinse through the microfiber towel because we don't have a uh, strainer, but trust us, we're we not do. professionals. We have strainers, but my wife would kill me. Yeah, so. fair enough. We don't have a shop strainer. <laughs> yeah. Look at my boy just yeeting them lifters out. Those are lifters. We are going to count out the springs, the lifters, the caps, all the parts and pieces, make sure we got equal numbers. And then we're going to get on to reassembly and we'll show you guys pumping them up. And yeah. So 
we got the lifters put back together. I scared the heck out of us because we were one spring short and I had dropped a spring earlier and John bent down was like, it's right there and grabbed it because I'm blind, so. Yeah, I saved the day. He did. Also with the oil, saved the day. But, but, but. And a uh, recycled cat bowl. Yeah, don't worry, we'll clean it before we give it back. <laughs> Pour some oil in it. We're gonna stick the lifter in the oil. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oil will be over the lifter and then we're gonna go until air stop, stops coming out. So, pretty straightforward, right? Yes. All right, guys, John is literally about to take the plunge. Well, he just took the plunge. Let's see if we can get the air bubble coming out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well guys, of course, everything's going smooth. Um, we were reinstalling everything and I noticed that the previous person to work on it, I don't know if it was the previous owner or what, but uh, these are the end caps for the cams and that one has an I on it. That one has an E on it. Well, I put those in the same location. I made sure everything was lined up the way I took it off. I was putting them back on, I realized this is the intake cam and it had the exhaust cap on it. So somebody at some point switched them. I didn't want to, you know, I figured put it back where it came from while we were messing with it. Uh, we figured better safe than sorry. And when I pulled it, you can see that little guy. Well, that one slipped out and fell down there. So John is running to Harbor Freight to get a really tiny magnet and we're gonna try see if we can snake it out of there and pray it didn't fall down an oiling hole and see but i may have just uh just screwed this up and we might have to end up pulling the engine i don't know so we'll see it's starting to rain again so john's gonna run to harbor freight and we'll see what we come up with Ooh. all right boys so john just ran to harbor freight there was a long line it took forever it's only like 30 minutes but yeah i was stressing the whole time he got back with the magnet and boom, I stuck it down there and it, oh, I grabbed it. I instantly. Oh, instantly. Grabbed it. I thought it dropped down an oil drain hole or a feed hole, but we're good. So now we're gonna throw it back on time lapse and button this up, throw some nuts and bolts on the intake and exhaust, and try and just fire it. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, let me see. Can you pull the, that one towards you? A little bit more, just a little bit more. All right. We are going to throw the battery in the back. I've got the old battery from the bug that I believe is still good because when I was chasing the starting issue on the bug, it ended up being the main power lead. So my old battery should be good. We're gonna toss it in the old Yada and we're gonna try and give it a crank and just make sure everything does what it's supposed to. See if we can get the crank over, see if we have enough power. And then if that all works, we're going to throw the valve cover back on, hook up the spark plugs. And that should be enough to uh, give her a little test fire and see if it fires up or not. We currently don't have a uh, Harmonic balancer or water pump pulley or thermostat housing, upper radiator hose, serpentine belt, any of that very important stuff. But we're gonna try and fire it and just run it for 20, 30 seconds, whatever, with no cooling system so that we can hear and hope that the lifter tap is not there. Make sure the engine doesn't have like major rod knock or something before we buy all those parts, shove those parts on just to find out we have to pull it back off. So enough talking, I'm gonna go grab the battery. We're gonna throw it in the trunk, see what it does. Let's do this. Oh yeah, tighten down to spec. <laughs> I want to go to the front and make sure nothing's gonna get caught up and make sure it's all clear to crank. Everything looks good. Okay. Everything moving? Yeah. 
Everything looks good. Okay, we still have we still have noise. Hand me the tube real quick. I don't know if that's the exact reason, but it sounds not very great. Very yeah. It's not like we have serpentine crap to worry about either. All right, the <laughs> it runs. Um, the tick should might go away when everything. It definitely doesn't sound awesome. So it runs. It runs. <laughs> Not a thousand percent sure on that tick though. It sounds like top end still. Just, yeah. So once we get the thermostat, all the serpentine stuff, we'll be good to idle it and everything. We need to put the fans on after we put those on and everything. Yeah. Whew. Maybe we do need to take it on a drive to Yeah. Which here, fire it up again. It's not gonna get too hot too quick. Right. Fire it up again. I just want, like, they say take it on a drive, but idling's gonna do the same thing, you know? Good oil pressure. That's good. What? Sweet, we achieved our goal for today. Yeah. But yeah, boys, so she started. Um, that is freaking awesome because looking under the hood with all the pieces like randomly there and missing stuff, it just, it's just it been like a really daunting task already. But it fired, it fired right off. It fired right off, yeah. So we're gonna mess with it some more. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be for another video. We got it to start and that's what we wanted to do. So yeah. Um, who's that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Alright. Well, we got to start and that's what we wanted to do. But I think we're gonna end today's video here on a happy note. Yeah. The engine I'm freaking stoked, dude. Might not be blown up, but it runs, that's what's important. Right. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, and stay motivated. See you on the next one.